Hi, Sheila here with a different approach to bringing our awareness into the moment. Again, through our bodies, but this time, let's try it standing. So I'm gonna remain seated so that I have a presence in front of the screen, but if you can, stand wherever you are, possibly without your shoes, so that the soles of your feet can really feel the floor. And try to have a hip width distance for your feet. So not too close and not too far apart. With your arms gently resting by your sides. And maybe your eyes gently lowered. So closing them is fine, but for many people that makes them feel a little um, dizzy or off balance. But just a lowered gaze so that it encourages your awareness to move inward. And from standing, taking a few breaths to settle into this new position. So we can become aware of the breath, softening the belly even as we stand, kind of relaxing and letting the breath move up towards the upper chest and shoulders. Two or three longer, wider, breaths at your own pace. This is always a good way to bring us present. And then really connecting with the soles of our feet. Not necessary to wiggle the toes in any way, but just notice the weight of our bodies through the soles of our feet. And maybe bring the shoulders up, back, and down. Letting the arms dangle and feel a little heavy through the fingertips. Coming back to the breath. Notice what it might feel like to reach the crown of your head in the direction of the ceiling while lowering the shoulders a bit more. Creating some space in the discs behind your neck. And then very gently, just shifting from the right foot to the left foot. So we're not lifting our feet up at all. Both feet are still firmly planted, but we just sway a little bit so that one foot gets a little bit more of our weight than the other. And we just move back and forth a few times in this way. So we get a sense of balance. And we get a different connection to the soles of our feet as an anchor for our bodies, but also for our awareness. And then coming to stillness, both feet receiving equal weight. Noticing how and where the breath moves your body. Maybe allowing the tailbone to soften down just a bit. Kind of looking for a neutral position to the pelvic bowl, the center. And then rotating your palms outward. Notice the shoulders will come with them. And very slowly lifting your arms up overhead as you inhale. And then turn the palms down as you exhale. So this will be at your own breath. And you'll just see how far up your hands go comfortably. They don't have to come all the way up overhead. Turn the palms down as you exhale. So you're just very gently moving your arms to the rhythm of your own breath.
The breath is slower and fuller than usual, but not so much that it makes you feel breathless or dizzy. It's a comfortable lengthening of the breath that matches and supports the movement of your arms up and down. It doesn't really matter how far up you can. If they can come up way overhead, that's fine. And if they can't, they might just come out to the side. The idea is to join the movement with the breath. Inhaling and exhaling. Noticing how the shoulder blades feel as they move along the back. and enjoying a deeper, more relaxed and full breath. And then on your next breath, when your arms come down, move them really slowly and allow them to come to stillness by your sides. And of course, noticing in these few moments, any sensation in the fingertips or the shoulders, any change in the breath. And if your eyes were closed or lowered, you can just open them a little bit and look around. Take a breath or two to release. So this is just a very brief example of using our bodies as a very um, comfortable anchor for awareness. It's a great way to um, do your yoga practice. Every breath, every movement, kind of focusing and refocusing over and over awareness back into the body, looking for a sensation which grows a little bit when we're moving. You know, when the body's quiet, there's less to focus on. But if you're moving your arm, there's a whole bunch of sensation that will arise because all these muscles are working together to create the action. And it can be a great anchor, keeping us present, keeping our minds a little more focused on the present, a little less out of some of the stories and thoughts that often take up a lot of space in our minds. And so it's refreshing and pleasant. So I hope that's a good tip that you can use. You can use it when you're standing in the market. You can use it when you're just walking. Again, noticing your feet or standing and breathing like this in the morning as you wake up is really a good way to encourage a deeper breath and awareness into the moment over and over. So have fun with that. See different ways that you can use it in your um, day as you're moving around. Just pause and start to notice how you're feeling within your body. So be well, and I'll see you all again next week.